Hello and welcome to another episode of Free Game Fractor Day. Yeah, it's a day late. I had thunderstorms in my area causing unstable power, so I didn't get any recording done yesterday, but we will take a look at it today anyway. Today we are looking at Bullet Ride, which is a student project game set in an art deco world where you're a little fat guy that rides a bullet. I'm not even joking. Ride a bullet, can't be more badass than that, can it? Get right into it here. Uh, we'll do easy because I haven't actually tried this any yet. Did you see the little intro here? Hmm. That's probably a job I wouldn't really want. Okay, and here we are, right? A bullet. Uh. Alright. I know you're supposed to go through the vent. I've seen a little bit of this game. Let's try that again. Basically, it looks like you were shot from a cop's gun towards a criminal holding a hostage. But the bullet misses, and you have to take a very roundabout way. You ricochet off metal. Yeah, I try to avoid that stuff. X to turbo. All set in this wonderful art deco world, which is an art style I am very fond of, actually. It kind of messes with me because it's flight like controls that I want. I want down to be. You know, forward to be down. Let's try turbo boost here. Oh, ow. <clears throat> I am using gamepad. It has 360 gamepad support right off the, right off the bat. With a lot of vibration effects, actually. Which kind of add, really adds to it. Let's try this again. Okay, for the vents here. The boost and super boost you can get by collecting, going through those rings and grinding and having close calls. I don't do close calls, I do just hitting things. It is kind of linear. It, the path you're, spo ah, you're supposed to take is pretty much set. You have to hit the right points. Let's go this direction. Just do a little bit of boosting here. It gets pretty crazy pretty quickly. There's no real lose state in this game. You just, you know, hit, go to the last checkpoint. This game is using Unity Engine, as a lot of student games do because of their good educational use licenses. It's, you know, it's a great engine. A lot of great indie games have been using this engine lately. And... BAM! Now let's do that again, maybe on a harder difficulty here. That didn't take very long. It's not a very long game. But it is, it's a heck of a lot of fun. You're riding a bullet. What could be more fun than riding a bullet? Let's skip that. Once you learn the path, it's considerably easier. Ah, in hard mode, it's a little shakier to control, actually. The splat when you hit a wall is kind of seriously painful looking. So the moral of the story is it's not a good idea to ride a bullet. Whoa. Yeah, if, if you lose too much speed, you will crash. So I'll just keep using some turbo here. Grind to get some more turbo. Yeah, the speed meter down uh, in the lower left. Trying to do this without messing it up, okay. This is pretty amazing, actually. I really like the art style. Never really knew I was a fan of art deco. Oh, I crashed because of speed. I was trying to grind, not crash. <clears throat> I didn't really realize how much I liked the art deco art style until, uh, what was it, Magnetic by Nature, actually, a Kickstarter game I did a video on. Ah, dang it. This gets ridiculous. I keep trying to boost to go faster, but then it just makes me kind of lose control. 
There we go. I can super boost now. I'll do that now. Ooh, ah! And that's the downside to boosting. It becomes quite ridiculous to try to control. Okay. Let's just survive another vent here. Come on. Whew, that was close. As you see here, this the little ending hallway, which is pretty much home free, is pretty much a credits. You know, these are the students that made this game. And I, I wanna know who came up with this idea. Who wakes up like, let's make a game about riding a bullet. And we will take out the bad guy right in the brain pan again. That has been Bullet Ride. It's not a long game, but it's definitely an interesting experience. I, I love finding quirky games like this. If you like this game, please give this a like, comment, and subscribe. I will have the link to the game in the description. I'm Fedora Gamer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.